Cool. So parts of our paddle then. All right. So at the very top, we got our T grip shaped like a T. All right. We then got our shaft, which goes all the way down our paddle. This is called our shaft. And at the very base, okay, we've got our blade. All right. Uh, so we got a little logo here. Okay, that indicates that this is our dry side of our paddle. Okay, and then we got this side, which is called our wet side of our, our blade. Okay, so dry side of our blade, wet side of our blade. And what we want is we want our label always facing out to see when we're paddling. Okay, just like this. All right, so this is the way we're going to paddle. All right, we don't want to have it the other way around. All right, that's because all we're doing there is just scooping the water. We're not really paddling there at all. Okay, so make sure you've got the label facing out. Okay, that dry side face it out into the water on the wet side okay facing us that's the reason it's getting wet all right perfect cool yeah so got a t-grip shaft blade dry side of our blade and wet side of our blade all right and that's the part of our paddle all right cool so how to adjust our paddle then there's sort of two methods you can use all right so the first one is where you put your wrist over the top of the t-grip okay and you got this little l shape in our arm okay that's one way you can uh, measure uh, the height of your paddle, okay, but the method I prefer to use, okay, is if we unclamp our, our T-grip here, okay, put the T-grip in between our feet, okay, and where the blade meets the shaft, okay, which is this point here, this is called the choke of our paddle, and when that point there, the choke is in line with our nose, okay, that is our paddle set to a very accurate height for us. We just clamp that off, all right, and then that's our paddle set to the right height, okay. Now to grip onto our T-grip then, all we want to do is just put our thumb underneath and wrap our fingers over the top, okay? So thumb underneath and then wrap our fingers over the top like that. So our parts of our board, okay, so at the very front of our board with a nice logo on, okay, we call that the nose of our board. This is this part here, we've got our nose. At the very back, we call it our tail. On oh, this part here, we call it our tail. So we've got our nose and our tail. The very top part here, the nice grippy part call this our deck, deck of our board. Alright, very front, got some bungee, in case you want to do any day trips you can stuck a dry bag under there. Alright, going all the way around the edges of our board, okay, so nice thick edges going all the way around. Okay, we call that the rails, rails of our board. Got our leash, okay, got our leash here in the middle. And so, so got our leash uh, attached to our board. All right, and then in the middle here we've got our carry handle, so we want to carry our board down to the beach, just tuck it under and walk our way down. Okay, and then underneath our board, okay, we've got our fins, okay, so we've got two fins there, and our main fin which is just slot into there, okay. And then one of the most important parts of our board, okay, it's something called the center line of our board. It's very important in paddle board. So if I take my leash and I bring it all the way out to the nose of the board, okay, Hopefully you can see that. All right, you can see I've made a nice, a nice line there in the board. Okay, we call that our center line. All right, very important in paddle boarding because we want to keep equal pressures of that either side. All right, otherwise we put too much on one side. All right, we're going to fall in. Okay, so make sure we're nice and even. All right, so I'll go over that again. All the parts of our board. All right, so we've got our nose with a nice logo on it. Tail, a rail is going all around the edges. Deck of our board, got our carry handle. Bit of bungee for any day trips. Got our leash. Got our fins on the bottom. Okay. And then we got our center line of our board.